Oh, that's terrible. I just got done seeing Doctor Strange. Let's, let's cut the horse shit and get right down to it. Um, as I was setting up my green screen and lights for my other shows, I thought, why not uh, do a quick review of um, Doctor Strange, the, the next Marvel flavor of the week. Uh, it's already made like 85 million opening weekend. I knew nothing about Doctor Strange, as is a custom with me in comic book movies in general. I don't usually know anything about the superheroes unless it's Spider-Man or Superman or Batman. Um, so the ones I don't know anything about, I'm actually more interested in because I get more of a, uh, a surprise at the theaters. This is just terrible. Uh, went with the wife. Um, she's, she is burnt out on superheroes. She didn't, didn't have a big interest to begin with, so... Uh, Dragging her to another one, kicking and screaming, was, wasn't my favorite thing to do, but she left thoroughly enjoying it. She, I think she liked it more than I did, and I did enjoy it. I'm at a point with Marvel and now DC movies where I guess I know exactly what I'm going to get, and that takes away some of the fun and some of the magic, I think. Doctor Strange was a well-made movie. It, it, it checks every box of the uh, Marvel playbook, the Disney Marvel playbook. You have, you know, beautiful effects, a lot of CG. You have great acting, great, great performances by Benedict Cumberbatch, who's always fantastic. Uh, he, he plays Doctor Strange, of course. Rachel McAdams, uh, my, my dream wife in another life. There's a gentleman in it that I can't pronounce his name for the life of me. He's got a lot of vowels in his name, a black gentleman who honestly should be run, who should have his own Marvel movie. And not because of his per performance in this, but because everything I've seen him in, he's been so good. Uh, Serenity, he's fantastic. I don't know his name. I have it on IMDb here. I can't even say it. Uh, she would tell Ijifor, I don't know. I, there's no way I could say that name. It's, it's, his character is Mordo. Is that how you say that? I, I just butcher everything. I'm just a... You know, privileged white guy. I don't, I don't have time to learn the subtleties of names, the nuance of different languages and culture. He's good, though. He was great in Children of Men. I just, just kind of, he, he's always the side character, you know? I, I want him to have his own meaty role in a film. Uh, Tilda Swenson, Swinton, Tilda Swinton, from, you know, she's actually been in quite a few movies, too, um, and she's very... She's a very character-driven actress. She's never the same person. She's always a very unique individual. I remember her in Snowpiercer <laughs> looking very different than she looks here. There was a lot of backlash about this movie going in with the, the whitewashing. Once again, I don't know anything about the comic. I, is she, I think maybe she's uh, Oriental or Asian or something in that. I don't know. She looked very weird, but once again... Tilda always looks really weird in her roles, so this was kind of par for the course. It'd be weird if I guess she looked normal in a movie. I made a statement a while back on a feud or something on one of my other shows that all these Marvel movies are the same. People took that the wrong way. They thought, what are you talking about? Captain America Winter Soldier 2 is a spy movie. Um, Thor is a Greek god movie. This is this type of movie. They're all very different theatrical films. They're all different. They're different, yes, but once again, there's a playbook. There is a, a certain feel that all these movies have. They're very high production, glossy. You're going to get a lot of jokes and quipping. You're going to get some fun action. And I'm not knocking that. I'm not saying that's bad. That's exactly what we want. That's why these movies are ranked so well. That's why, they're do, that's why they do so well and why people line up for them. I'm just, I guess, a little tired of that formula. That's why Deadpool, I think, was so refreshing to people, because it was so different. Everything in this movie is like looking through the lens of a kaleidoscope. There's just stuff constantly happy, happening. It's chaotic. It's frantic. It, it reminds me of the movie Sucker Punch, which is not a good movie, but it's beautifully done. It's something that Zack Snyder knows how to do, is, is frame up a scene, how to shoot a beautiful uh, picture. The problem is, when everything is a money shot, nothing is a money shot. There needs to be some more subtlety. There needs to be a little bit of uh, time to breathe, I think, in even these big action scenes. That's why I go back and look at the movies that this reminded me of going in. in Inception and The Matrix. Both, I think, are far better films than this um, from pretty much every aspect. You look at the hallway scene in Christopher Nolan's film, 
um, where they're just fighting in the hall. It's so much simpler than anything that's in Doctor Strange. Yet, it's more powerful, it's more impactful because this shot is a one in a million. You don't see it in the next frame or the next five minutes. It's just there and you're like, whoa, holy shit, that was an awesome sequence. I, I saw the movie, really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm glad that uh, Benedict's in the fold now. He's in the Avengers universe and I can't wait to see where they take him. I, I love the new Marvel intro. They've had a couple times now where you get all the, the movies in the Marvel M and you know the logo comes on. It just shows you how, how good they've done. You know, they've really made the comics into the movies its own thing now. It's like, look, remember before when we referenced the comics of all these cool guys? We've done that. They're here on the screen, and now we can put that into the logo. We don't need to do the page flips anymore. We've made this shit reality on the big screen. And that is something that uh, they should be applauded for. It's awesome. It really is. And I'm not, I'm not sick of it from that aspect. I think it's really cool that, that we have all these characters that are the Avengers. They're coming into these movies. They're big budget, high production value. So with that said, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. All right, I'm gonna start filming my other stuff. I just wanted to give you a, I, I don't know if this is quick or not. We'll see how it edits out. I'd like to keep it within five or six minutes, but we'll see. Let me know what you thought of Doctor Strange. I'm sure most of you really enjoyed it. I, I don't see a reason not to, um, but maybe you can agree with, with where I'm at here. And uh, I, I don't think anything needs to change. I just, um, yeah, we've had a lot of these now. It's very samey.